Hey guys, without wasting any time, we are going to fix the Wi-Fi not showing on Windows 10 on a Windows 11 computer. We will be doing only three simple steps to fix the problem. Please make sure you watch the whole video and you will be able to do it. So here in the search icon, just type services. Best match will be services app. So you can click on open. And once you open, a window will appear like this. I'll maximize it and from here select any of the file and press W and scroll down and look for any service which says WLAN auto config. Now this is a very important service and it should be always running in an automatic condition. So I'll just do a right click and then click on properties and please make sure if it's even if it's running, please make sure it is automatic. It shouldn't be delayed start. It shouldn't be manual or disable. It should be always automatic. Click on apply and then OK. And then again, do a right click and click on restart. If this restart is not highlighted, then you can click on start. So in this manner, you're actually enabling the Wi-Fi services on your Windows 11 or Windows 10 computer. So this will fix the Wi-Fi problem, Wi-Fi missing problem, in most of the cases. Let's say if it's still not working, then I'll close this window and just do a right click in the start icon and then go to device manager. Now, once the device manager is opened, try to maximize it so that we can see the options clearly. Now here, we all have to look for any option which says network adapters. And I can see it is right here. I'll just maximize it network adapters. You need to look very carefully anything which says wireless. There could be many things here in network adapters, but we are only looking for anything which says wireless adapter or anything. So it could be Realtek, it could be Intel, or it could be any other manufacturer. But the best part is it should have wireless written on it. So you just need to select that. In my case, I see Intel Wireless AC9560. So this is the adapter. This is the Wi-Fi adapter which we have. Just do a right click and click on Update Driver and click on Search Automatically for Drivers. If that works, well and good. If it doesn't, just do a right click, click on Disable and then click on Enable again. And once you enable it, Try to look at the bottom right corner, see if you have this Wi-Fi option activated or not. Once you have checked it, there is one more thing you can do, which is a very effective step. Just do a right click and then click on update driver. And this time we will not select automatic. We will select browse my computer for drivers. And here you will select, let me pick from the list available drivers on my computer. So what happens, uh, sometimes we downgrade or upgrade the Wi-Fi with the Windows update, then also we face this problem. So once you click on that, make sure you try all the drivers one by one. So I can see I have two here. So you need to select the first one, click on next, restart the computer, see if that works for you or not. If that doesn't, try the second driver. All these drivers are actually for the wireless adapter. So you need to try one by one. You might have three, four drivers right there and you need to try all those drivers one by one because you do not, you never know which driver works for you, right? So once you have selected that, click on next and restart the computer. See if that works. If it's not, then we will move to the next step. Just do a right click and then click on run. And here type MS config. I'll maximize it so that you can type it. Now this is the last and effective step which we are going to do. And it will fix most of the problem. So once you open it, it will open up a system configuration page. And here we have this general boot and services. Now in here in services, click on enable all and then click on apply and OK. Because what happens, you might have accidentally disabled the Wi-Fi services. So this will enable all 
those essential Microsoft and Intel services by just clicking on enable all, click on apply and OK. In my case, most of the services are running. That's why enable all is grayed out. If it's grayed out in your case too, you can click on disable all and then click on enable all. And in this manner, you can click on apply and then OK and then just restart the computer and you will have the Wi-Fi network right here. You can try connecting your Wi-Fi by just doing a right click and then click on settings. And at the left hand side, you will have your network and internet and from here you can connect your Wi-Fi computer. In the same manner you can do it from the right side, the bottom right side, you can connect if, through the Wi-Fi icon. You can please let me know in the comment section if it has fixed the issue for you. It really helps and it really makes encourages me to make more videos like this. I hope you have enjoyed this very short video. Please hit the like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Have a wonderful day.